Hi, this is Miss D at D Special Things. This is my Julie Nutting doll stamp collaboration for July 2017. And I am so sorry I'm late, you guys, but um, whatever I tell you will be an excuse. <laughs> because I actually took every single thing out of my closet that I use for my alterables and I absolutely had a big mess and then I decided to go to Ikea I know right and get me some more shelving to put in that shelf so that I could re-put my stuff back in there I put my stuff back in there so that I could see everything and when I tell you I had the absolute mess OMG I had the biggest mess. So, I'm just able to upload my video. Um, I had problems. I always have problems with that. But, I did want to show you what I did. I actually used a lot of the dolls from, you know, the ones that came with the dies? Yes, I used those, I think, for the most part. And, I made a tag card. And, here it is. Yes, so what I did to make this card is I just took the girls and I adhered it to the card. These are the, actual, the tags that I used were the Ranger, I think they were the medium size cards or the large ones. Um, I don't want to have to look for the stuff, but yeah, I think I used um, the craft tags yes the essential number 10 size tags these right here and I then took some paper the paper that I used it's upstairs you guys I can't get it it is a K and company stack that's double sided and I used it to make the girls clothes um, then I cut out used some of Tim Holtz rungeable let's see See, the grunge board circles and I made summer and fun I took some acetate and I put this through my Zyra machine to adhere it to that um, yeah so that's the two girls inside this is chock full of dolls you guys just and summer clothes. I actually altered her little skirt and made them shorts. The same skirt. It was, I just made them shorts. Um, let's see. Then you open it up and I took this dress over here and made a skirt for this girl. Let me see. What else did I do that was different? Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I used some, this is some tags from, it's a booklet that comes from Paper Wishes. Everything is better when share it with a friend. And then this one is some vellum. And I took it and adhered it to um, acetate. I ran it through my machine so that it wasn't flimsy and it would sit on there. But the balloons, the balloons was acetate and it also came from a old pack that I got from Paper Wishes. I just cut it off of the, let me see if I can show you. I just cut it off of the paper, um, yeah, like this. And I ran it through my Xyron and attached it to acetate and yeah, made the, uh, balloons there so it says thank you for sharing your life with me which I think is great because you all do share your life with me and I just took some little twine so that it would look like she's holding those um, balloons some kind of way I should have put them behind her hand but no I didn't and this is the back side of it this side I actually this is the back side of this paper. This is the back side of this paper. It's a K and Company stack called Hopscotch. And being that you can't get K and Company paper stacks anymore, you'll probably have a hard time getting it. And I also use washi tape to hold this 
together of course take your washi tape down yeah so this is the tag that I made for my summer and it's called summer fun I like this I think it's cute this is a way to give um, I guess these little girls a new look yeah so that's what I did with this um, and they're dressed up in summer attire yeah and also what I did was because uh, I think it was Jamie extreme granny I'm sorry granny extreme who made a lace doll and I had not made a lace doll since probably the beginning of the Julie Nutting dolls and I never made one using um, anything other than pastel colors like your whites your pinks your yellows I've used all those colors but I never used the black she made a black lace doll and I thought it was cute so I did another tag and this is it right here and I actually use black lace to make her and I use these right here I think they were on sale at uh, Michael celebrated I think I bought these I bought a bunch of them for like 60 cent a piece they're a different kind yeah this was a, I think I got them at 90% off yeah so I paid like I think it was 60 60 cent a piece but I used these ribbons and twines and strings and I actually put them up here too for the ends of my tag the paper that I use, the background paper, is a paper that I got from Tuesday morning. And I don't know where I put it. But yeah, it came from Tuesday morning. I did mixed media on the back of this. I used a, let's see, this Craft Smart um, Ocean Breeze acrylic paint. I used a new stencil that I got from Tuesday morning and it's upstairs but it was this one here I think these were I think 99 cents but I used that and um, I used some stickers that are also old stickers on here um, and they were let's see do I have this yes I have bunches of these but it was off of this art art warehouse sticker pad this is cute isn't it oh I could take this one this is small enough and add it there yeah just a little more dimension but yeah that's what I did to this to give it texture I used some Martha Stewart mmm glitter what was it I don't know some kind of decoupage glitter stuff uh, for the mixed media and I just used different laces for her dress as you can see and like I said this was only the sec I mean the first this is really the first time that I used a color this dark to make her dress but I thought this was you can wear black in the summertime right so I'm going to put July on this tag somewhere and I actually use a craft paper um I don't know this came from a paper stack and that's the paper I use but I need something here to connect this and her to make this work together so I'm going to put take care of the hours take care of the hours for the minutes will take care of themselves and that's what I put right there I need another one don't I yeah so that is my tag I know I'm sitting here finishing this up I guess I didn't think it was finished but yeah, and, and this is a doily. I don't know if you could see it on the front side. But yeah, there is a doily there. A large doily. Um, on this side. But yeah, those are my two projects. 
that I, I did for the July 2017 Julie Nutting Doll Stamp Collaboration. Alright you guys, tell me what you think. I'll be back. Um, oh, <laughs> look down in the description box for all the ladies that are playing along with us. I'm sure you've seen them already because like I said, I'm late for this. Um, but check them out. I don't know how many are, are actually playing along with us, but I'm late. No excuses. I'm just late. Um, I have a ton of stuff to put back in my closet. So once I do that, I'll come back and show you what I've done. Check the other channels out. The ladies are awesome. They're great. I also have and will do another video showing you, I mean, letting you know who the winner was for the first six months of the Julie Nutting doll stamp collaboration. Um, I think I have about five or six stamps that I'm actually giving away and they're all Julie Nutting stamps. So yeah, I'll announce the winner in another video. Thanks for playing along. I'm sorry I'm so behind, but I'm pretty much trying to catch up. Hopefully I'll get her done. But yeah, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.